<laughs> Welcome to Vlogtober Day. I don't know because, you know, y'all know the deal with my vlogs are not real time. So I'm just labeling them here just that they're fun for you guys to know. But it's not really like this date, if that makes sense, because it's till technically September when I'm holding up this camera. Anyhow, I'm going to stop saying that in my intros, but it's a lazy day. It's a Sunday. I'm trying to get a video up. Oh, and it failed. Struggling today. Struggling today. So let me take care of this. Loxy is relaxed and sleeping in her bed over here, and I'll show you guys her in a second. And lazy day. I'm gonna stop saying that too. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so repetitive. I have the Murder on the Orient Express playing in my bedroom because I'm gonna go lay down. Let me get this, hold on. It's okay, okay. I actually just replaced the filter and I was on the phone because I had a pretty rough pretty rough morning and I'll talk about that in a second I was crying and bawling my eyes out um I know that sounds a lot but I was and while I was on the phone I was replacing the filter in the fridge and I replaced the filter in the air filter in my room those two things came from Amazon so let me go ahead and show you the fridge filter so as you can see <laughs> I need to go grocery shopping. I have nothing going on, but this is the filter and I Just never replaced it and I've owned this fridge for three years So I got a good new one in here is the baby girl all curled up and if you're wondering about her ripped bed It's because she likes to claw it and make it comfortable So there's that Anyway, oh now from that sneeze so I basically, I'm not going to make this a, a long story, but I just got worried about my daughter because I couldn't reach her. And then it was just completely out of the norm for us. Usually she all, she is always reachable. And even like if her phone's dead, she's with a friend. And so I, I will verify with her friend. I'm like, is she okay? Like, you know, and that may seem like a lot to people, or I, I don't know how anyone's going to think, but I'm telling you right now that it doesn't matter to me because I will always worry about my child. And um, so I just like to do those checks. I like to make sure she's okay. And usually, like I said, I can always get a hold of her. And today I hadn't heard from her at all. And it was just not like her. And whenever things just don't feel right, don't feel bad that you want to like go the extra mile to make sure things are okay um because I would rather be safe than sorry and feel any regrets that I didn't trust like the instinct so and then just one thing led to another like I kept calling and her phone was on her phone wasn't dead and so that was really bizarre and I thought okay well if she's sleeping I know that she wakes up to my calls because she always wakes up to my calls and even if her phone was turned off, she wears her Apple Watch and that will usually buzz her. She wasn't waking up, or I thought, you know. And so the more that I couldn't reach her and the more time that was going by, the more, the more my mind just went into like the deep end. It just did and I was just bawling, I was crying, I was just like, oh my god, did she slip and fall? Like, all of these things started to, ha to happen in my head because her location told me where she was, um, which made it even scarier. It was like, well, is she just not with her phone? You know, and she can text me back with her watch. She can call me on her watch. Like, she can do all those things. And so I would just, my mind, my mind went in a deep, dark place. And, um... Finally, I did get a hold of her, and she just happened to not be wearing her watch. She had to charge it, and I guess her phone was also off, and she was sleeping. So it was all of those things had happened at the same time, and I, and I was, I guess, just trying to reach her in a bucket of time that she just happened to be sleeping. So that's the story, and so I'm a little exhausted from crying and being so upset, and I'm... 
just gonna lay down I'm gonna allow myself to relax because I'm always on the go on my free time for YouTube and I'm gonna allow myself the unwind so if you just need to watch that if you need the company that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> So I probably put on some relaxing music for you guys as I go throughout the house and get it fluffed, settled for the night. It's just a true nightly routine. I do it every single night. And you're probably wondering what I was doing with the tablescape, but I decided to update it with this black checkered like tablecloth. I'd actually, when I first was attempting to create this look, I wanted this, I didn't want this. And, but I couldn't find this. I searched high and low and drove myself crazy. At one point, I even thought that maybe I had thrown, just like thrown it away, um, which, yeah. So, and then when I did my kitchen organization, which if you guys didn't see that video, I completely organized these cabinets and everything. And this is where I found it. It was just thrown in the back with all that mess of a stuff. And I will link this organization video down below. It's from my main channel. And I think it looks so much lovelier and it pulls from this. So before without this, and I'll try to insert a clip so that you can kind of see, without it, this was the only black checkered thing that was out there. And so it was almost like it wasn't pulled together. I don't know if that makes sense, but now it just looks, I don't know, I like it so much better. I feel like 
I still need to add my silverware and maybe even like a different, another cup, like a glass cup. Because sometimes tables are set with multiple cups, you know, and or just do whatever the heck you want to do. And, but I love this so, so much better. And I decided to go ahead and add this on top to give it that layered look because I thought without it, it was going to distract the centerpiece and it just pulls it all together. This has black in it. So just these two complement each other so, so well. And give this video a thumbs up if you love the update.